loads of power, isn't it? loads of electrical charge. Let's go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so we, uh, we we destroyed the launch pad. <laughs> that didn't happen last time. That's the first time that's happened. I'm just no good at this, am I? Why have I got so much going on that I can't multitask? It's been a funny day for me today, in general. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop making excuses. Okay, and that will do. Okay. Bits of staging. Aliens. There is our station. Very simple. There's no need for it to be complicated. This is a sandbox, so it's not as if we need to do any science or anything. Neither does it need to be cost efficient. So we get the station into orbit, we'll crew it up, and then the next phase after that, I suppose, is start sending Kerbals down to the moon. And perhaps look for a place for a moon base. Although I'm more inclined to do a minimus base, surface base, than a moon base. Because Mim I love Mimus. I think Mimus is great. Mimus is a fantastic world. Low gravity. It's uh, beautiful to look at. It does seem like a huge elephant. We've got that wobble. That wobble back. Okay. Stage. Go, go, go. That's better, isn't it? That's not wobbling about all over the place now. Keep an eye on the Delta V. Yeah, it is quite clumsy. It, is, it certainly is quite clumsy. It's a big, heavy launch system. There we go. It's a big, heavy launch system. And on top of that, it's a, uh, a a big lumpy station. Oh, oh, burn now! Go go go! What is our delta V? Oh, we got loads! Look at that, eighteen. I think we just we just we just started on under two thousand delta V there. We've got loads of the stuff. It's almost the uh, that launch system was overpowered, really. But it's considering the size of the space station, it's quite impressive. But then I suppose empty hollow containers don't weigh that much, do they? Which will be what the Kerbal, which of these are. We've got their lab and we've got their their, their bedroom. The other thing to decide is what Kerbals to how many Kerbals to take. I did. I did plan for four. And I've got a new mob we can try as well. I've just downloaded the uh I can't remember what it's called now, the crew the crew one. So anyone watching or chatting, you can have your own Kerbal. I will name Kerbals after you. I've seen some other streamers do that and it's uh, it's a good idea I think. Oops, right, let's click on the moon. Use that as our focus. What I'm gonna do uh, get that to a hundred. Are we able to? We're not able to push that out, are we? No. That's all right. I can readjust that. I can readjust that because I think this, this is down to 93 now. Until you're in the sphere of influence of the body that you're trying to orbit, it's never accurate. These maneuver nodes. So if I were to make a maneuver node around here, which is the orbit I'll eventually get to. When I leave here, I'll then be on this orbit back to Kerbin. But at the moment, it's calculating it from the moon's sphere, sphere of influence. I could put moon node there and get the periapsis down to say 30 kilometers, bang on. Once I switch from the moon's sphere of influence into back into Kerbin's, that might drop to 25 because it's, it's just not accurate. Something we just have to work with, but we can we can push that back up. Right, 300 meters a second. Um, I want an equatorial orbit, I don't have that yet. Equatorial orbit will just make the transfers so much easier and also landing on the moon and coming back up to the station it'll be easier as well. Let's get a bit of a burn on. Go. We're gonna have, we're gonna have so much Delta V left. Severely over-engineered this. But that's okay. Better to have too much. 
Okay, that should be in orbit around the moon. I could have added RCS in here, RCS tanks in here, so we could use it off of this stage, but I didn't know how much Delta V I'd have left, like the weight issue, all of that. As it turns out, it's completely over-engineered. Let's face that into the sun. F5, just in case something goes wrong, although it shouldn't. And... Well, that's a really slow breakaway. Let's just use a little bit of RCS. Just to push ourselves away from it. Ah, whatever, whatever. Okay, well that's our orbital station. We have a station in orbit around the moon. Not a bad effort. Let's open out the communitrons. Again, these are just purely aesthetic because we're in sandbox, so they're redundant, but aesthetics are important, I think. Space Shuttle 2. Space Shuttle 2 is the one that can get to the moon. Especially adapted Space Shuttle. It's a bit clunky for what I how I envisioned envisioned it working, but it does work. Though it's not perfect by any means. So this will we tried it the other day. We this will get to the moon, come back, and it will land on Kerbin again as well. Uh, believe it or not, <laughs> it's it's not it's not a, it's not a fantastic design, but it does work. It has its issues. And there we go. Uh, not a good start. I did need the engines gimbals. Okay. Yeah, these engines. What they need to do is point through the centre of the mass of that orange tank. And it can be, uh, it can be a little fiddly. Right, let's bring ourselves back this way. Oh, it's trying to flip. I don't want it to flip. Okay, they've gone. Oh, that's not a clean separation. That wasn't a clean separation. Okay, there goes the booster. That's empty. And let's cut that out. Need to reposition these. That'll do. Right, shut down these engines because they are now empty and no use at all. Delta V remaining, 180 Delta V remaining, that's not much. Damn it, guys, I'm really sorry. Ah, uh, didn't want to do that. Did not want to do that. Apologies. This should be a quick fix, though. This needs a, 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 a thorough revision. But I'm not going to do that revision now. What time is it? Half ten. I'm not going to do that revision now. Okay, and that should be main engines. They are. Let's have five that. Here we go. Whoa. 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 Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was too that was too much engine angle. Too much engine angle. I got that very wrong, didn't I? Never mind, we seem to recover. Hey look, it's going up smoothly. It's going up smoothly. Okay, well let's abort anyway. Oops! Ah! Right, I'm aborting, but I have full fuel tanks. Hello. Loud noises. Uh, I need to. I need to get rid of all the fuel. This isn't set up to fly with any fuel in the tanks. Oh, didn't think about that, did I? See if we can burn it off. Get us prograde. Who's pilot? Don't forget landing gear. Absolutely. <laughs> we have parachutes though. We have parachutes. So, in fact, let's get them out now. Uh, right. Let's let's just cut everything. Uh. Uh -uh. Oh. 
cockpit didn't survive. Sorry guys. <laughs> Let's cheat and revert. See how we go. Let's go. And that's the way we want to go, so that's working. That's working out alright. Right, we want a lot of horizontal velocity. Once we get over 100 meters a second, we should be good to detach. Bit of an expensive, <laughs> a bit of an expensive launch system just to test the gliders' cape, um, gl the space shuttle's gliding capabilities. Okay. Oh, things are breaking. Quick. Don't flip. Don't flip. Don't flip. Don't flip. Don't flip. There we go. Oops. That's that gone. Gear down, lights on. Bit wobbly. Bit wobbly. Don't know why we're wobbly. I don't want to nose down too much. Landing gear's down, landing gear's down, <laughs> we've the landing gear. We've got the landing lights on just to give us an idea of how close we are to the ground. You shall not die. We've set the parachutes up correctly as well, so it should be pretty much impossible for you to die. Nothing's impossible. Okay. Uh, we're coming down, coming down. Can we go back up? Yep, we can go back up. That's not bad. Considering these wings uh, are for the large, the, 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 the smaller shuttle, still producing plenty of lift. Oh, that's us down. Oh, oh no, brakes. What happened there? What happened there? We have debris. Right, point down, we don't want to lose too much speed yet. Oh, ground, ground, ground. <laughs> Fire pup Halligan! Hello, welcome to the stream. We are just testing a, a shuttle quickly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Concentration. Uh. <laughs> husky, husky, welcome back, welcome back. People are people are chatting at the the, the most. <laughs> oh, it's concentrating. Ooh. <laughs> Why is it bouncing around so much? Why is it bouncing around? Slow down. Stop. Brakes. Oh, bad time for brakes. Brakes now. Brakes now. <laughs> uh... Sorry, fire pup and husky. Hello, welcome. Welcome. Um, you just, you just, you just. Your, your chat just popped up at the. An inconvenient moment <laughs> where I needed to concentrate. Hey, it works. We landed. We landed. We proved the shuttle can glide and land. Uh, okay, let's retract the tower, start the engines, and go. Yes, yes. Look, no wobble, no wobble, Grey Soul. We have fixed the launch. Very pleased with that. Accelerating nicely. We are looking good. And how's how's the guys? Oh, oh, oh! No, 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 no! Ah! Oh! Was that was that me being distracted? I think we've saved it. I think we saved it. It's not ideal. I think we got away with that. We're gonna run out of fuel, guys. Okay, now I need to tilt the engines. No, I don't need to tilt the engines at all. The engines no longer need tilt. Dylan Gl Dylan Gilder. Is that right? Dylan Gilder. Welcome to the stream. You can see what we're doing and it's not going very well. Okay, we're stopping there. So it's just a tiny, tiny bit of thrust. When that gets to zero, or as close to zero as we can possibly be. See, even for that 1.5 deg degree, see how much delta V we need for that. It's an insane amount. Oh, hang on. Right. Oh no, we've got a little bit of fuel left in the tank. We need to keep an eye on that fuel. Because I don't want to uh, I don't want to be using the space shuttle's engines on its own fuel tanks with this empty because we're just carrying dead weight. 
Okay, so it's looking good. Okay, so that's as, that's as good at that point in the orbit. 1.5, you'll end up higher on the moon, so it will swing you around. Yeah, and that's exactly what's happening, Grace. So, I think if you saw the... Um... Okay, stop. Stop turning around. That's exactly what's happening. Is that empty now? That's empty now, isn't it? Okay. Right, here we go for tank separation. Left five, because things can go wrong. And... I need this to be an action group, don't I? I'm nervous. Uh, that's fine. There it goes. There it goes. Okay, so we are completely dependent on the shuttle. Oh! Uh. Thank you for following. Really appreciate the follows. And you've done that at a really inconvenient time because I've missed the burn. Oh, engines aren't active. Uh, four, wasn't it? There we go. Go! Why are our tanks empty? We did what I didn't want to do, and that was burn some fuel out of these tanks, the shuttle's tanks, with the uh, main tank still attached. Let's set down. We need to save every drop of fuel that we can. We don't want to run over unnecessarily. Stop there. A little bit over, that's fine. That's fine. Prograde. Okay, Delta V remaining. 231. Ah! Ah! I wanted more than that. I wasn't paying attention enough to the tank, was I? The main tank. I suppose some of the Delta V figures included those thrusters that we jettisoned, uh, that, that we used to jettison the tank. Correct. That slightly faster. Uh, yeah, low orbit means we travel faster, so we'll catch up to the space station. That's probably a little bit too much. That's fine. Let's just get. We need to burn now, anyway. Let's let's burn uh, main engines, and we'll do the orbital engines because we're going to need them as well. We will run out. Uh, F5, just safety, and burn. Burn everything. Okay. Hey. How much delta V? Five. Oh, look at that, exactly. 500 meters, uh, meters a second delta V left. We did it, guys. We did it this time. The crew is made up of uh, people viewing this stream, so we've got our two pilots. I think Pediatch is gone. I think the others are still here. Well, Rygar's still here. Husky's still here. Um, Firepop and Nico haven't heard from them in a while, but um, they could still be there. You guys could still be there. So that's why it's down to Hayden. It's, this isn't me piloting it at all. This is all Hayden. And if it all goes wrong, it's, it's completely his fault. Okay, this is going to be our intercept. This is it. I just hope I remembered all the docking ports. <laughs> Be awkward. We could EVA them, couldn't we? We could EVA them. Aiden, the mission to the moon will be a success. It will be a success. And the game just slowed down for a second, so I'm guessing that we are within. Oh, we are within 2.4 kilometres. Our docking alignment has has come up. There's. This, oh, geez. Okay. Uh, target. Yes, target. Oh no. RCS. Coming up on this a bit quick. Jeez, we're coming up on this quick. Slow down a bit to a half a meter a second. Okay, I think now is a good time. Now is definitely a good time. Stop. <laughs> I didn't realise I was that close. I didn't realise the station was so big compared to uh, the shuttle. I had no perspective. Right. Okay. Oh, and that's it. Docked. Docked, don't distract him. <laughs> That's it guys, we've, we've done it, we've docked. We've finally got to the space station. Look how small that space station is compared to the shuttle. And I thought the shuttle was small. <laughs> I wonder if I thought it was so far away. We could probably carry this the space station back to Kerbin with us. But there we go, we've done it. We've done it. Transfer to the cupola. There we go. There you are, Husky. There you are. Party time, great work. Thank you very much. We got there eventually. Nico Cats, uh, let's put you guys in here because Fire Pup and Rygar. In you go. That's it. 
you are transferred. You are now manning a space station. You are now manning a space Now you can break open the vodka. Now you can break open the vodka. Right, right. thank you very much everyone. Thank you so much uh, for all the new followers. Thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you again soon. Maybe sooner, but definitely on Tuesday. Definitely on Tuesday. Uh, take it easy guys. Thank you very much.